God always have a better plan for us, though the process might be hard and painful. My dear audience, it had been a while that the earth had inhaled fresh air, drank clean water and felt hygienic. Well, the universe knows how to turn the tables and make the things fall in order. The aggravating disorder pushed the universe to the extent where we would introduce to a virus who made us aware of all the blessings we have been taking for granted. Sometimes, when things are falling apart, they actually may fall into place. Respected President, everyone here is just grumbling about the negative aspects of the pandemic, whereas optimists will love to see the positive side of the things. And so, if we look deeper, we definitely will realize some good things that we're experiencing at this point of time. Like, the environmental pollution levels have gone down drastically. More precisely, Wuhan by 21%, Moscow by 30%, Delhi by 20%, Islamabad by 56%, and Karachi by 35%. We're able to breathe fresh air again. Rivers are more cleaner now. Family bonds are strengthened. Few endangered species have started to appear in few places, making us realize that a part of human, other animals too have equal rights to live on Mother Planet Earth. Respected audience, aren't these things we always wanted to do? And yeah, let's not forget to mention the companion of throughout this journey, technology. The constant use of modern tech has raised the awareness of its importance and enabled a person to become technologically enabled as well as skilled. And with that, it had been a feast to all the students because it enabled a person, it enabled a student to become an independent learner. I think these were the only things we were waiting for, right? This pandemic has given us a new perspective to continue to live our lives because it gave us a life lesson that no one is small. Everyone has its own importance from a rag picker to a top not celebrity. Respected audience, life always comes to us with surprise gifts, blessings, and of course, hurdles. And life always allows some crisis to occur before revealing its full bright side. Because every cloud has a silver lining. So it is everything in this world. These crises will give us the zeal to do the best in whatever we do. Because this happened to unite us. The world needs a huge positive energy to flight against the negative forces. Go to the center of your inner being and generate that positive energy for the welfare of humanity. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My question is from that girl who is for the question. The question is why the, uh, my question is that you said in your speech that uh, uh, endangered, endangered species has been benefited from, from this pandemic. Uh, could you explain how? Well, thank you for asking me the question. So, uh, yeah, according to my perspective, uh, I think that this session or this period of uh, COVID-19 has been a feast to the wildlife. And I think that uh, they had an opportunity to enjoy a freedom in a quiet environment with hardly no humans around them because we have been just destroying them and doing nothing to them like in their benefit. And, um, it was reported like there are some of the endangered species that were so hard to find were even reported at the places where no one uh, expected them to be. For example, um, some of these species of deer, known as samba deer, has been endangered, but it had been uh, spotted uh, with an increased number of its population than before. Uh, with that, we have uh, different examples like a civet and neglia. And we also include the um, telltale dots in dolphins. And you know what? Telltale dolphins were even uh, very hard to find. Thank you. Uh, telltale uh, dolphins were even hard to find in deep seas. But Tokyo, they even reported it in the rivers at the side of the city. So yeah, I think it had been a blessing for them. Yeah. You argued that everyone was being um, individual learner, right? Yes. Then, um, how could you relate and justify the statement that all the people, if there was a crisis and the loss, loss in the businesses, right? Then, 
everyone was indulged and everyone was trying to be like a freelancer or is something like that then the students were involved in their online learning and they they were completely at their, at their own sites on the other hand their parents they were trying to make the money and how can they spend their time with each other everyone was busy in their own task at the beginning the freelancers has they need much more time to spend uh, to become uh, skillful so how can they spend time with their families um, I think that spending more time in finding the capabilities and potentials inside you is just more better than uh, sitting, just laying on the beds and uh, having time on the phones and talking to the other. And as you said that the students were uh, capable of learning, so yeah, definitely they were. Uh, they had more time, they had more free time to um, assess to the uh, deep concepts uh, that what they were studying and with that the freelancers. And they, there were so many options, like the students uh, could not just study, but with that could gain different skills to, um, you know, become a skillful person for the generations that are coming. So it was... Uh,